Hi everyone, this is Laura from Laura Meyer Design and today's video is going to be about giving furniture a an update and this is a coastal flare update using nautical rope but you can do whatever you want. Um, of course paint always updates any type of furniture um, but this just gives a little bit of um, just kind of jazzes it up a little bit differently than just paint. But um, this piece was a thrifted piece. I actually got this for six dollars. So I was really psyched about that. It's actually a plant stand um, and it was a dark wood. I'm sorry I don't have a picture. I don't know what happened. I took a picture of it before I started painting it but I don't I don't know what happened to that. Um, but there is a piece to the right that is kind of similar color so you can see that at the end you'll be able to see that piece that's another plant stand but I just I painted it and I painted it navy and white which is just like my dining room table actually and then the legs of my dining room table on the top have this nautical rope so I carried it over on this table here and the table here I'm using as a bar more just to showcase the um, our, our collection of decanters of old decanters more so than anything else they 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 are actually empty so but as you can see here um, I I painted it navy which is my favorite shade of navy is Narragansett navy by Sherwin Williams HDTV so check that out it's a beautiful color it's kind of a marine-ish type navy but it's beautiful but what I did also with this to give it the refresh is I put the nautical rope in around the table in that kind of divot there that you see. See how it rounds out there and then divots in. And so I thought, oh, that's a perfect place to put this rope. So just put two layers of the rope there. And, um, and I wanted to do the same on the bottom. So I'd already done this so far. So, um, but today we'll be looking at just putting the rope there in that little crevice there on the bottom on all three sides. But what makes this a little bit trickier is because the legs are in the, in the middle there. They, they, it's not a continuous flow of rope. So you have to make sure you're measuring your rope correctly and gluing it down. And, um, you know, so it, it looks nice and you get all the pieces in. So that really kind of does look like a continuous, um, loop of that rope around the, the edge there. So as you can see, I'm getting started here. And so I cut my pieces. I'm actually using my mini glue gun. My actual, my other glue gun was giving me some problems. So I had to do the mini glue gun. Um, but I just pre-cut these and then just hot glued them down. Don't put too much glue. I did a little bit there. So I was trying to get the glue away. Um, the good thing about this is this is painted, um, in just, you know, just a regular, uh, latex paint. Um, I think it, I, I got like a high gloss, but then I put a polycrylic over it, a water-based, it's, I think that's the name of it, polycrylic, but I love that stuff. Um, and that really does protect your furniture, protect your paint. So when things like that happen, it was actually very easy to get all the, the little glue pieces off and no paint came off. So, um, re always seal your furniture, um, polycrylic, is I, I love doing that also wax um, but I think polycrylic maybe protects maybe a little bit better than than wax maybe from something like this um, but I'm not sure but anyways just gluing the pieces down you can see they kind of unravel um, nautical rope or rope in general is just kind of can be kind of a pain so you see how I have to pull some pieces little pieces up and just kind of stick them down in there like with my fingernail um, and just kind of work it till it, it, it looks good there. Um, and again, it's just a matter of just kind of taking your time a little bit by little bit going through and, um, getting it down there. So I, with this part here, I cut it a tad bit too short on one of the, the ends there. You can see it how are, I guess on kind of both the ends, that middle part is longer than the two other ends. So, you know, you just kind of have to do what you have to do. I tried to manipulate it, but that's okay. Nothing is perfect. So nobody's going to see it 
going to look that closely. If they do, then they've got other issues. <laughs> so you're all good. Um, but here's the finished product. So I like how it matches the top with the rope around the top and then the rope around the bottom. I think it kind of just ties in. And this room that I have it in is my dining room and it's a coastal room. So it really works with this. Now, I mean, you could do anything. You don't have to do rope. You could do fabric. You could do some sort of ribbon. I, I don't know. Um, you know, whatever kind of would work and, and would look good, just experiment. And especially a piece of like thrifted, a thrifted piece works great. So I love this too, because you don't have to like, if you're kind of tired of a piece, this gives it a really quick refresh that allows you to kind of, you know, just, um, almost have like a new piece. It kind of gives you a new little spark there. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you some inspiration, gave you your own little spark and makes you go out and redo a table. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you were inspired to get creative in your own home. If you like this video, please help support my channel, Laura Meyer Design, by liking, commenting on, and sharing this video. And of course, please subscribe to my channel. I so appreciate all of your support. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.